Hello again, I am Blunty, and if you haven't seen the first video of the series of Ryzen 5 CPU vids, I do implore you to check it out. It will give you some real useful context in how I approached my testing and gameplay. So, in a video before this one, I demonstrated what the Ryzen 1600X and its thread festooned nature does to the CPU punishing multitasking nature of squirting out a Twitch stream while also AAA gaming on the same machine. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, it does really well. But following from that conclusion comes the natural question about how well the even more affordable 1500X copes with this same workload. So, same tests again, set up identically. But now we're looking at the 6-core 12-thread 1600X versus the 4-core 8-thread 1500X. And of course, in line with using these things how I would in the real world, both CPUs are overclocked. And once more, I ran two configurations. First, on a 1080p desktop, running the game in a 720p window and asking OBS to churn out a 6,000 kilobits per second software encoded X264 MP4 720p 60 frames per second stream. And again, using the software encode over hardware options because at the low bit rates used for streaming, it's a significantly better image with far less macro blocking and other image quality issues. I found in my 1600 versus i5 tests that the Ryzen chip's multi-threaded nature did what you'd expect and delivers a significantly superior experience under this kind of very aggressive and punishing CPU load. I had expected the 1500X to have a few more dips in the frame rate, but overall to do a fairly decent job at this task. After all, it has quad cores, just like the i5 already used for streaming, but the Ryzen has the advantage of double the thread count. However, as you can see by that little warning I've blown up at the bottom of the screen there, it's here where the 1500X hits a wall, maxing out every thread it can't keep up with the encoding. You absolutely could negate this somewhat by manually configuring windows to prioritize OBS's CPU needs above that of the game, but then the CPU intensive game would suffer more. And suddenly everything becomes a tricky balancing act, one that you may have to tweak for every different kind of game you play, depending on its own individual needs. But yeah, while the game actually continues to run really quite well and remain very playable, the resulting stream is basically unwatchable, with huge stutters and freezes as the encoder kind of falls over itself. And of course things only get worse when I did the tests again in the 1440p desktop with the game windowed at 1080p. Sadly, the story about the 1500X ends here. It isn't some kind of magic bullet for an ultra-budget AAA PC game streaming rig. However, if what you want is a budget rig that can, as I've shown in other videos, game surprisingly well for its class, it's still a very solid option. It's also going to do very nicely as a streaming machine if you're pulling in your gameplay from elsewhere. Many streamers use a high-end PC to game on for the best performance possible and use a secondary PC with a capture card to handle the stream encoding and output to make sure none of that affects their actual gameplay. The Ryzen 1500X is going to be a great choice for that, and of course for console streaming. Because without a game load, its multi-threaded nature will still make it a very capable machine for that task. But yeah, the Ryzen 1600X still sits as unquestioned king of budget-friendly CPUs for building a AAA gaming streaming rig around, and it will be what I'm recommending at this price level for these needs. It certainly kicked sand right in my overclocked i5-6600K's face. But still more to come on my exploration on what Ryzen 5 does, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.